guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and uh, we are back with another edition of Tactical Book Review. And today's book is In the Gravest Extreme, The Role of the Firearm in Personal Protection, by our good friend Masad Ayub. Uh, this was the first book that he ever put out, as far as I know, it was kind of the one that put him on the map. It came out in 1980, is the copyright on this book. So, it's an older book. Uh, it's been around for almost 40 years now. And uh, I am sure at the time that this was a very uh, important and landmark book. Uh, I know that because of something I'll say in a second. But the first thing I'm going to say is, honestly, this book is a pass. Uh, I don't think it's worth reading and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I'm a huge, huge Masada Ayub fan. Uh, there's, there's another Masada Ayub book uh, that I have reviewed in this kind of series here. And a huge Masada Ayub fan. I, I, he's on my list to go see. I think his books are excellent, but not this one. And the reason is because it's 40 years old and it's just out of date. There's just too many things in here that are either standard practice today, uh, which is why I know this was such a groundbreaking book at the time, because a lot of this you read and it's kind of like, well, yeah, that's just duh. Like shoot at silhouette targets, for instance, not bullseyes, right? We all do that. Everybody who's in the tactical world and shooting shoots at, at silhouette targets. Nobody shoots at bullseyes in the tactical world anymore. Um, so th there are just, uh, or there are things that are just outdated or that I wouldn't recommend. Uh, he tells a story of when he was carrying a gun illegally uh, to protect himself. Because remember, this is 1980. This is before permit laws were really a thing. Um, and a few states maybe had them. And they were like May issue states. You know, it was it was a darker time. But, uh, and he pulled his gun out on someone and just kind of flashed at him. And they, they went off and he just went about his business, right? Today, it's like, oh my God, if you pull your gun out, you need to call the police. Never, never, never pull your gun out, defend your life, holster up and go home like nothing happened. Just don't do that, right? You can get into trouble that way. Because they'll call the police and they'll say, hey, this guy threatened me with a gun and it happens, okay? But anyways... Uh, just too out of date. He spends a lot of time talking about revolvers, for instance. Uh, you know, everybody, again, in, in the tactical world, what do we say? We say, buy a striker gun, shoot a Glock, right? And there are some people over here who like those uh, Tupperware guns, wh whatever. But my point is, and, and if you want to carry a revolver, carry a revolver. But I just wouldn't recommend this, especially anybody who's new, because there's just too much outdated material in here. Again, I think the world of Masada Yub, uh, I, I, he's a titan in the in the industry, especially when it comes to the legal stuff. However, this book is just out of date. It, it's just too old. There's just too many things in it that aren't current uh, and some stuff that's unhelpful. Uh, and if you go in to read his later books, he contradicts some of what he says in here. Uh, for example, like warning shots. He talks about warning shots for police officers in this book. And he's kind of like okay with it. Um, and in his later books, he's like, no, just don't. The warning shots are a bad idea, which they are. They're a terrible idea. So, I would recommend you pass in this one. I would recommend you grab some of his more current works. Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, do brave deeds and endure.